Hello and welcome back. I'm glad you're here. In this video, we're going to take the powerful Teams environment where we can have meetings, communication, collaboration, file sharing, all the great things that Teams gives us. And we're going to take a social network, Yammer Communities, that's going to allow us to have our own private social network with trusted organizations, our internal organization, and trusted individuals. And we're going to combine those together to really amp up our collaboration and communication. So before we head into that, go ahead and hit the like button and go ahead and subscribe because I have a lot of great videos coming up that you're going to want to see and the like button really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. So let's go take a look. If we want to put a Yammer group into my, off my Teams, then of course I'm going to need to have that Yammer group already in existence. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to yammer.com. Just go here. You can actually see it on my screen. But when I go to yammer.com, I'm either going to be prompted to log in or I'm going to be automatically logged in. In my case, I've already logged in and provided my credentials. So here is my Yammer environment. And I'm actually the administrator of this tenant. So there may be a few different things that you would see in your environment. But one of the things that you would have the ability to do if your administrator has set this up is to create a new group. If you don't have that permission, then you'd have to ask your administrator to do that for you. And you may see a whole bunch of existing groups that are created for your organization here. And it provides a really great way to collaborate, share files. The way that I always think of uh, Yammer is a social media network that's internal to your organization. You can make it external to select uh, participants or select organizations that you want to allow. But think of it like a private social network. And if I go into create a new group here, I'm going to create a new group. I can make it the internal group or an external group. I'll make an external group so I can invite individuals outside of my organization. And I'm going to give it a name that I can remember. So I'm going to call this uh, Yammer for Teams Demo so that I know exactly which group I'm working with once I go to the Teams side and bring that application in. I can add members by name or by if they're in my organization, I can just add them in by name. Or if they're external, I can add them by email address. And of course, I could import a list. Uh, I could bring in a, a whole group, a whole distribution list there. So, and if you have other organizations that you trust, you can, you can have your administrator set it up so that they're trusted. So let's say I'm working on a project with a trusted vendor. I might rather than go and say, you know, these five individuals from that vendor are allowed in this Yammer group. Maybe anybody from that other organization is allowed in. But that's more of a Yammer type tutorial. I can talk about that in a, in a subsequent video. Let's go ahead and create this group right now. So now I've created this group here and you can post messages in here. So if I want to share something with the group, you can put in a message, uh, you know, welcome to the most awesome team ever. I could type and talk at the same time. Welcome to the team. And of course, when we welcome to the team, we can throw a GIF in there. And it never hurts to have a, a cat picture in there. And we can also go in and put a file on SharePoint. We can go in and even a file that's already within Yammer. Or you can upload a file from your computer. I'm just going to choose uh, a little GIF or GIF. I don't have an argument. And you can format it here. And I'm going to go ahead and create that team. So now I have a nice little fiddling cat. Oh, not fiddling. He's sharpening the claws. So we have the, the group created in Yammer. So now that I have the group created in Yammer, that's great. And now people, when they log in, if they're invited to that group, they can participate on a mobile phone. They can participate by going to yammer.com. It's super helpful. But what if I want them to participate while they're in a Teams meeting or collaborating through Teams? Well, we really want to integrate all our applications so that people can access them no matter where they are. So now here I am in my Teams environment, and I'll just use this existing group that I, a team that I created called Data Fans. And you can see I've got this uh, pretty generic team that I just created uh, for the purposes of this demonstration. So if I go down below here, you'll see that there's this apps icon. And when I click on that, I can put all sorts of different apps in here. And the one we're interested in right now is Yammer. And so I type in Yammer and oh no, it's not there. Well, it is. It's referred to as communities now. So if you go in, this is a fully interactive Yammer experience. I'm just reading the title there, but it's it's the this is Yammer in Teams. So if I click on communities, I can then add that application. So I've now added that application into my environment and you can see that Yammer is now part of my environment. And so you can see I've got a whole bunch of different communities in here, including things such as the Yammer for Teams demo with my 
parameters. I didn't make this very fancy when I created it a few seconds ago, but obviously you want to put a little bit of time to make this uh, visually appealing to, to people. You can go in and you can add members to that group. You can go in and you can add posts in here. So now within Teams, I have an entire social network that is also mobile. I can install Yammer for the iOS or for Android, and I can now receive alerts and updates, and I can now add another layer of collaboration to my Teams experience. If I go into one of my Teams here, and I go under General, you'll notice that there's, there's no Yammer here. So what I can do in order to solve that is if I go into um, Applications down here, so I'll go to the Ellipse, you'll notice that, uh, I, again, it's not here, but if I go into More Apps, you can add it to a specific team or channel by once again going into Yammer or Communities. I kind of have Yammer on the brain, so I'll go here and no notice now that it's not an add to your environment. Now I can actually add it to a specific team and I can go into Data Fans General. That's where I want to add it in. I can set it up to be added to that specific team or channel. That is now going to be part of that team or channel. It's going to be a Yammer group or a topic. I could just take one topic from Yammer and bring that in there. And if I search for groups on Yammer, I'll just go, I'll actually, because I called it Yammer itself, Yammer for Teams demo is there. I save that in. And now what I've done is underneath my data fans, you can see that the Yammer channel is now part of the general channel of that particular team. I hope this video was useful in showing you how to create a team in Yammer, but more importantly to bring that or create a group in Yammer and then bring that group into Microsoft Teams so that you can have that social collaboration that is also a mobile experience. Let's uh, take a quick look at what it looks like in the mobile end. Here I am on my iPhone and I'll go into Yammer and there we have my feed. So I've got my entire feed. And if I go into communities, you'll notice that the Yammer for Teams demo is there. And there, once again, is the posts. And what's cool here, of course, is I can set up things like different notifications. I don't have any set up at the moment. I have the inbox, for example, here is the welcome to the team, where I was welcome to the team. I can go to my feed if I'm a member of multiple groups or multiple teams. Now I have a really great way of having a feed in a social, internal social network that's also connected to my team's environment. What did you think of that? Taking teams and Yammer, putting them together, it's amazing. I really like it. I like that mobile experience. I like the idea of having connected communication environments. Really handy. If you liked it, go ahead and hit like and hit subscribe for more videos like this. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.